welcome to Christmas with my family where I get together with some family members and cook some unique food for Christmas. So this is going to be good, you're going to learn how to cook some different stuff in your flare fire and have a bit of fun. So I'm here with Faye, my mother-in-law. Welcome Faye. Thank you Mike. <laughs> it's great to have nice you to here. see you. You too. We are cooking bread and butter pudding. That's right, bread and butter pudding and we're actually going to cook it in the smoker up in the fire. And this is a sourdough bread and butter pudding. Um, I don't do well with normal bread, but sourdough I can eat until the cows come home. So we're doing that, and it reminds me a little bit of um, mum and dad, and it's sort of what we had as a dessert growing up. So yeah, so Faye, you've so, obviously got some old sourdough. We've got sourdough, and um, I've put butter on it, and now I'm just putting a bit of jam, just to give it a little bit of sweetness. And where'd you get this recipe from? Um, Edmunds, um, the Edmunds cookbook? The Edmunds cookbook, yes. It's been around a very long time. It has. And so you've customised it with a jam, or is that a... Um, yes, I have, because it, in the recipe it didn't. I had a friend said to me it's really nice with jam, so no. we tried it out. Brilliant. And um, I think you liked it. I did. Yeah, we <laughs> tasted some the other night as a test run, and it was great. Uh, and oh, yep. So yeah. you've got bread, We've got butter, jam. Bread, jam. Now we're going to put the currants and the raisins. Currants and raisins. So it's just okay. like obviously a small amount of currants and raisins. Yeah. The great a thing with this a tablespoon of each, is it? Yes. The great thing with this dessert is if you've got some old sour, some old bread lying around. I think that's where it came from, back, right? It right? Is. And back yeah, in the day, they never throw right. anything out. They, um, that's why they had rice puddings and bread and butter puddings because they would make use of the food. Unlike we do nowadays, we can just chuck it out. So you can um, put lemon rind in, but this time I'm going to. I've decided to put vanilla. Awesome. Just a teaspoon of vanilla, and just spread it around. It will all soak up with the egg and milk mix. I like this because we're going to have this with vanilla ice cream later. Yeah, yeah. So it's just going to be are. perfect. A quarter of a cup of, I've put brown sugar in. I quite like using brown sugar. Okay, now we need to Eggs. put I'll, the I milk in, two cups I'll of milk. milk. Two cups of milk yeah. in here. Yeah. And three eggs. Three eggs, do you want me to drop those yeah, in? Yeah, you can do that. Now we whisk these together. Um, okay, now we just pour this over and leave it for 15 minutes to soak into the bread. Right. So in terms of prep time, that's like it's, a 15, 20 minutes it's, pot. Yes, it's and not then, very and long then at all. Cook it. That's it, so we're, we're going to let this that. soak up and then we're going to stick it in the fire. We Is that are. It? Yes. Awesome. We are. Oh, okay. we'll be back shortly with this. Very good. So, this has soaked for about 15 minutes? Yes, it's 15 minutes is up now. So. And what, what temperature would you normally cook this at? Um, I think around about eight, 180. 180s. Yep. See. Yeah. Cool. So, we're just going to eyeball this. I like to just sort of. Um, just eyeball these things rather than having a temperature probe, which but we could do that, yeah. but just to make it easy for people. And I think with a good thing with bread and butter pudding, it's going to be fairly forgiving, right? It, it will be, yeah. yes. And how long would you normally do it at 180? 180 for 30 minutes. 30 minutes, cool. Yep. All right, well, we're just going to stick it in the smoker. I'll bring it down. Yeah, yeah so just stick it in there, Faye. And I'm going to just leave that fairly low, just so I get about the right temperature. And we'll chuck a bit more wood in, I reckon. Very good. Yeah, so we'll just have to keep an, keep an eye on it. Look forward to seeing yeah. it when it comes out. Yeah, back shortly. <laughs> We've cooked it for half an hour or so. Yeah. Checked it a couple of times, it looks amazing. It does. I think it's time to eat it. Right, so, let's, let's go. It. Oh yeah. Well that looks amazing, Faye. It does, I'm really pleased with that. 
It actually looks better than you normally make it. Michael! <laughs> I just reckon that it's just cooked perfectly. It does, it's yeah. come up nice. Yeah, it's come up yeah. nice, yeah. All right, it has. my little Shall insult we? for the day. That's good, it's good to insult your mother-in-law once a day, so. Shall I carry on? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and she doesn't want to hit me on live camera, so that's no. even better. You almost need um, gloves to hold the bowl, eh? Yeah, you? I do actually. Yeah, stick, stick your glove on, okay. You've got to be careful not to burn yourself, and the thermal gloves are handy for, for this. Brilliant. Yeah. All right. Ah, there we go. Yeah. Yum. There we are. Yum. So good. Okay, I'll have a taste. There we go. And I'm going to put a little bit of ice cream with it because you have to. Mmm. Wow. Um, nice and crunchy, it sounds. A little bit crunchy, but also nice. nice and juicy mm. as well. Mm. So it's that. Mm. I can't, not super smoky, but maybe just a hint of, maybe just a hint of smoke, and the vanilla is amazing. It does? It's yeah. good. Oh, so, please. Oh, you're not allowed in there because you're allergic to eggs. <laughs> I, I'm going to have to eat all this. You will. I will. You will. That's unfortunate. See what I do to my son in law. That's right. So, that's how you cook bread and butter pudding in the flare fire. It tastes amazing. So, make sure this Christmas you gather with family and just cook something in your fire, slow life down, and yeah, just make time for family, yeah? Yeah, it sounds a, sounds a wonderful idea. Yeah, thanks, Faye. Look forward to Christmas. Yeah, me too. Cheers.